Uh, well, my name's Nick Garris. I'm here from the States to add a bit of movement. I'm a dancer and dance ethnographer, and uh, I'm here to do some work with Park Othuma here and also with Marianne Kennedy, who is sort of, again, curating a lot of these events. Um, and her, her family and her sort of dynasty of um, Gaelic song that she has from the Isle of Skye. Um, she is a proud Ouija Gale and is... Uh, has been more than generous in sharing that tradition of, of song and language with me and sort of helping me as a non-Gallic speaker to get some of those sounds and uh, that, that feeling and the meaning of those sounds with, into, into the movement. I'm here mostly through an invitation from Dot Reed to be a poet, uh, I suppose to bring a few thoughts about spirituality and story and also to bring a few thoughts about queerism and myself and Nick were in touch a little bit before the festival by email. Uh, well, coming into the collaboration, I didn't, I'm not sure that I had too many expectations because it, it was a new opportunity. I don't usually get to um, explore ideas about queer identity and uh, poetry, spirituality, um, national identity, and the intersection of all those things with music and dance. I found yesterday to be more of a, an exploration than a performance and an exploration that we were part of as well. But there was a sense of we were discovering something on the stage about what embodied thoughts and what articulated movement can look like together when it's held together with these voices that I don't think they're contradictory, but somehow they're presented as contradictory. You know, a kind of a traditional role, poetry, spirituality, dance, a queer identity, an identity that's questioning the roles of gender. I think that it was evident from the word go that somehow there was something that people brought to the room that created what happened. I don't get the impression that it was like, oh, we're, we're doing something a little bit edgy. It wasn't a controversial or difficult topic to explore. I felt like there was a, a, a beautiful human and healthy curiosity that we were allowed to step into and hold this together. We weren't thinking that we are the queer voice. We were thinking we are two queer voices of the many that are there. And Solace makes loads of space for that. I think that curiosity was had a nice sense of holism as well. Mm. Um, it's rare, I think, that that promoters or festival curators are interested in a, a whole artist's perspective, their whole um, sort of spectrum of uh, everything that they could provide or contribute to an event. Um, it was really, really nice to be able to to speak, to dance, to sing a little bit, to, to talk about all these different things, and to sort of let them all be um, beautifully, organically integrated. Yeah, totally. um, I got the really strong sense that Solus was interested in both of us as, as whole artists. And again, queerness is a part of that, but our artistic practice is also a part of that. So it was really nice to be able to acknowledge both of those yeah, in, a, in a really natural way. Yeah, wonderful.